All right, so today we're going to be working on uh, rebuilding an internal harness per request. Uh, had a uh, subscriber, hopefully a subscriber. As you can see, these wires are pretty bad. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and replace them with all brand new OEM wires, which I have right here. Well, they're not brand new, but you know what I'm saying? They, they look really good compared to that crap. First analysis looks like the power cable is in good condition, the ground cable is in good condition, um, all the other wires are crap. Um, so we're going to start by replacing each wire one by one. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to measure all the wires, make sure we have everything correct. Okay, alright, so we'll start with the choke since this is the longest, which is the gray. I think it's the gray. Let's try to find out. Honestly, it doesn't really matter which way you wire these wires. They're just color coded. I'm pretty particular, so I like to match everything. That way, there's no confusion on my end because we all know that Merc Sun gets confused very easily. All right, so got the choke wire. Choke wires here. All right, so I'm gonna clip this end. All right, so now we have the choke wire. All right, so the choke wire is done. I can clip this down here if we're probably gonna need it. Get that out of the way. All right, so now we have. Let's see. This is what powers the switch box. So that's the white wire. Actually, it's in bad condition. It's just messed up up here. So maybe I'll just splice it up here. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cut this here. All right, so now we're just going to get the wires that we just cut. We need them ready for uh, connection. So what I'm going to do is just strip the wires. I'll fast forward through this because it's pretty boring. All right, so the next step is to get the um, all the wires on here ready for splicing. Okay, so we're going to start with the main power cord here. do is just twist these wires it makes it easier to splice um, I'm gonna solder the wires together that way they are permanently tight I have like a hundred and twenty five feet of shrink tubing so we're gonna use that too just to double seal them okay. all right so we're ready to splice the main power cord in right now and again I'm using these because these are convenient so we're gonna, let's see here, put this on here. All right, it's a string tubing on there, just for double security, This might fall off. All right, I like to twist these wires together. Okay, I don't know what this is, but this is coming off. Okay, that's coming off. Okay, so now we're going to solder those wires together with a, just a regular Bic lighter. Together. Again. 
just everything's tight. I don't know if this is gonna fit or not. I'm gonna find out. <sighs> tubing is not going to fit, so we're going to have to resolve to something else here. Let's see here. Alright, I got red, and we'll match red with red. Cover up the first fitting. Cover up the second fitting. Sorry guys, I wish I was more organized, but it's just not working out. Okay. Alright, so we got the red. Okay, so the black is gonna cover that fitting right there. Keep it waterproof. And the red is gonna cover the new wire coming in. Yeah, we'll go ahead and connect them just because it looks good. So now we're shrinking all this together. And this is just, again, added protection for the wires. Okay, and so now we have successfully spliced our first wire. All right, so now we're moving on the ground wire. This might be a little difficult because it's in the cut, so to speak. But I'm going to twist them together. Okay, and then the ground. Let me see if this will fit. them together. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you what. This is not as fun as it looks by the way. Alright, so that's twisted together. Now we're going to put this on here. take some of this wire off so I can actually twist it on there. That way it's a tight fit. Okay. Right, now we're back. Okay. Alright, so that's twisted on there now. Now we're going to solder it together. Go to here. Put, down. When you put this down, you just want to twist it on. It seems to work better that way. Well, not in this scenario, but... Come on, there we go. Twist it. Okay, so now it's on. Now we're gonna solder it together. It's harder once you get close to the base. All right, so that's soldered together. Now we're gonna. Oh. This on for added protection. Okay, so now the solenoid now has a ground wire. Okay. All right. 
All right, so I'm just going to show you one of these steps, and then you just repeat them for all six. Okay, so you got the wire, the wire here, and put that in there, and you get your crimpers. You do a better job than I did. Jesus. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Round two. Take two. Okay. All right, round three. Here we go. Rolling with the dices here. Oh, cables in there. Third time's the charm. All right. And just to make sure, I'm going to go into the second gauge here and make sure that it's really. Okay, I think that's got it. Okay, all right, so now I'm just gonna tighten this up. There you go, you can cover and seal that up. See how good that looks? Alright, so that's one. So I'm going to go through all the steps on this, and then we're going to fucking fast forward. Alright, so now i got everything connected. Okay. As you can see, it's all new wiring uh, connected here. I wrapped this with uh, electrical tape just to make it look pretty. So now, right now, as of right now, you have a, basically a brand new wiring harness.